Hi there guys and welcome to another installment of Abhijin's SketchUp workshop. So in this episode we are going to continue working on the Age of Empires Frankish barracks. So we have done three important steps so far or even more if we want to be detailed about it. <laughs> so we have done the base with the extra this little arch we have done the top part which customarily arches a bit over the barracks so it's a bit larger then we have done the bottom interior of the barracks so all of that looks great so far so I've been looking into all of this and I'm quite happy with the way it turned out so I want to give uh, so I've decided that I would like to give a bit more interior space to the barracks so that's going to be a nice little detail and voila now for this one I promised we would be doing the crenellations what's well basically what surrounds the barracks so let's get this started now uh, I've been looking into various let's say images of uh, Frankish castles and buildings and there are so many different types of crenellations that it's difficult to choose one so let's try out a couple or maybe even just one if we are happy with them to see which type is going to look the best so adding oh that's nice so this texture it's going to be really precious for the crenellations because it's going to stand out once the building is finished and especially I hope when it is in game so let's see here mm -hmm. so this little black spot and we're going to add this texture on top see so there we go and sometimes it's really neat to add a bit more detail not necessary but neat okay so we're going to do that extra detailing onto the side here as well if SketchUp decides to aid me with it. So basically this sort of protrusion is best guided by arrow keys on your keyboard. They will help out a lot. So let's explode this and let's just, well, paint over this complete thing and let us move this sort of opening dead center, if possible. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with it now. So very good job so far all right now let's finish it up and let's turn it into a group now we shall start with this all over here so from the very beginning of the wall and let's see how many of these we can squeeze in and before we start with that I would like us to single out this roof because I would like to actually put them in the middle between these so let's see how that's going to fit in now remember I am doing this pretty much free form so what happens happens I very rarely well pretty much never have any concept art I just do things on the go I see what fits what doesn't I let it you know uh, settle to check uh, whether or not some of the ideas are valuable whether or not they would look good in game so uh, sadly the whole process or well sadly the whole process is trial and error I would like it to be a bit more concrete but hey what can we do so let's uh, put these in as well this is going great so far Okay, and now let's finish up the crenellation. This is perfect. All right, so this is as far as we can go with our little crenellations. And it's actually going to help us with making the building a bit more open decorated okay 
but I think this looks great for the base. We're going to save it here. All right, and now a little bit of an adjustment on this front. So let's see here. We're going to squeeze these together a bit okay, to make them have more sense in you know architecturally. Okay, so the walls of Carcassonne on the outside and the walls of a large uh, house from Normandy on the inside. So this looks great. Now we're gonna save that and now we are going to decorate the lower part of the barracks a little bit. So uh, we're going to go deep into this model and grab ourselves some rocks. We're going to assemble them here, explode them and let's put them in position. Okay, so we're just going to arrange them like this. Delete the extras. So then we're going to split them up a little bit like this and turn them into a group. So this group can then be added to the side of the model. And the nice thing is you can rotate them to create extra variety, which is really neat. It doesn't have to be perfect, they're just cornerstones, you know, nothing has to be great. Sometimes people focus uh, on making an architecture set look perfect, uh, you know, imitating a wonder. I always thought that that might be a bit too, uh, let's say, uh, too perfectionist, because at the end of the day, the wonder should be an amazing building that stands out, and if we just make everything look like the wonder, where's the wonder in that? So, a few more details, they're always welcome, right? So, a few, not a lot. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to add some extra thickness here to this inside portion of the arch. Right? So, I wouldn't like to copy the arch once more, but I would love to actually uh, arrange these stones in a way which would be, let's say, helping it stand out. So let's do it. A stone like this and a stone like that, and that's how we'll do it. It's a bit of a mix. Okay. Hop and hop. So basically everything in SketchUp takes time. So arranging these perfectly as well. There we go. Now we have some extra thickness to the walls and extra believability, so to speak. Now, the walls are done. The main part of the top building is done, so we'll have to address this issue in a little bit. So let's actually just hop into the wall, edit it, and here, nice and you know, nice and smooth. Let's just cut off this portion of the wall. So SketchUp is nice because you can use lines for pretty much everything. We all know how to draw lines, so that's great help. Ooh, this model is deeper than I anticipated. Never mind, we'll just redraw the lines. Oh, there we go. That's how we know it's successful, the lines connected. That means everything is beautifully symmetrical. And I just want to lower them a little bit. Ta-da! So the building now is a bit more intriguing. It's a bit better. Okay, now, uh, before we move on to the final part, which is the roof, I would like to make a few adjustments to this building, to the upper part. So, you know, this is my personal little issue. I love making a million adjustments before I uh, make something public, before I decide that something is good enough. So, let's try to forgive me for this one little tra extra transgression. Okay, so this would be it. And now let us move these lines here and let's try to align everything with it. So it's going to be a bit of extra work, but you'll see in a second what I aim to do and we'll see what it uh, will result in. Okay, so we're going to take these textures and just mm, try to find, ah, yes, this is a bit more of a unique angle to the textures. I love it. So this. Perfect. So, of course.
quite happy with how this went. So hop and hop. Now what I wanted to do here is add this here to make a additional protrusion for the barracks. Now I know that it might not be something that all the sets in Age of Empires do, but I want this set to have as many intriguing things as possible. So this barracks is a bit of a, an experimental building where you can just see that you know creativity is important. So it's not a problem to let some of the model stick out or just stay back inside. It's not a crime even though you can adjust it. So don't worry. Okay, I think we managed to make this look pretty nice. Okay, good job. So this will be it for the upper structure. So now I believe that uh, I shall call it quits here. So we have given the base extra decorations. The bricks are holding up real nice. We have adjusted the top part. More importantly, we have given the model crenellations. All right. And in the next part, we're going to slap a roof onto this model. And finally, after the roof is done, we are going to decorate the model with extra little details. So I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified of future tutorials and future content. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.